The hard shell egg, invented by the dinosaurs at least 195 million years ago and unanimously adopted by the birds, is a remarkable object. Although reptiles and mammal-like reptiles existed at least 320 million years ago, no eggs older than sauropod eggs 125 million years later have to this point been discovered. Eggs have proven a wonderfully viable method of survival for these species, provided a nutritious packaged meal for predators, and been the nucleus of legends and superstitions. The allegory of the world egg, or the cosmic egg, as the origin of all life, is manifest in mythology from Indo-European cultures, China, Polynesia, and Africa. From time to time, strange and noteworthy discoveries are made inside eggs and on their shells. One of the more common freak finds is an egg inside an egg. An example was reported in the Times in May 1886, which prompted a letter from a D. McAlpine to the Melbourne Argus, which reprinted the account. He had been shown an egg within an egg by one of his pupils in 1880, and he had corresponded with Professor Alan Thompson on the subject. It was explained that the yolk is the essential part of an egg. It descends from the bird's oviduct through a funnel-shaped opening into the uterus. Along the way it gains the egg white, or albumen, and the shell in successive stages. Should the process be reversed at any point, by for instance inverted muscular action, and the egg redescend, then it is possible to gain an extra layer of white and shell, sometimes along with the next descending yolk. A correspondent wrote to the Glen Innes Examiner in New South Wales in September 1886 to report finding an egg laid by one of their pullets, weighing six ounces and measuring nine and a half inches around its length. The egg contained white and yolk, but also had another egg inside, complete with its own white and yolk. At Tenterfield, New South Wales, in September 1903, a 10-ounce egg from an Aylesbury duck was opened to reveal a second duck egg within the outer yolk. Although the newspaper to whom this prodigy was shown had not heard of a similar occurrence, the very next year Mr J Mitchell of Clarence Park, Adelaide, showed another newspaper an extraordinarily large duck egg in November 1904. It weighed 9 ounces, about 4 times as much as a usual duck's egg's weight, when opened, it had a double yolk and another fully formed duck egg inside it. A large egg laid by a Menorca hen at Wyong, New South Wales, in July 1907, when cracked, proved to contain the egg white within which floated a second fully formed normal-sized hen's egg. At Glengallen, Queensland in 1911, an extra large egg was cracked and found to contain the usual albumen and yolk, but also a normal-sized egg within. That egg was also opened and found to be completely normal. An identical egg within an egg was reported from Texas in 1919, and another specimen of the same from Gundagai, New South Wales, in August 1934. Yet another was found in Toowoomba, Queensland, in 1935. This egg was 9 inches in circumference and 7.5 inches across. Around January of 1942, a chicken owned by a poultry farmer named Goldsworthy, living near Juni, New South Wales, laid a huge six-ounce egg, roughly three times the size of a normal egg, and said to be comparable to the size of a tennis ball. Thinking maybe it was a double or triple yoker, about a week after it was laid, Goldsworthy broke it open. When opened, it too had another average-sized egg with it, which was normal inside. Another occurrence at Rose Bay in November 1945 yielded an inner egg, only the size of one a pigeon would lay, and at Port Augusta, South Australia in 1948, a similar marble-sized egg was found inside another. An elderly couple who had kept fowls their whole lives found an egg within an egg at Victor Harbour, South Australia in March 1961. 78-year-old Mrs Billingsley and her 84-year-old husband had never seen an egg within an egg before. In 1945, Beth Driscoll of Barclay, Victoria, found an egg within which was albumen and a yolk and a second egg. But when this second egg was broken, it contained the white and the yolk, but it too had another egg inside. This was a marble-sized egg lacking a yolk. Three eggs in one is impressive, but it seems the most extreme example was found in Fackenham, Norfolk, England, in March 1954 when an egg was discovered which had six other eggs, one inside the other, 
with the yolk in the seventh egg. But weirder intrusions into eggs have been recorded. When an English journal named Poultry Farm carried a story about a woman from Walton in Liverpool who had found a small fish in the white of an egg in 1944, they added that small pebbles, grit and hair had been noted as found inside eggs. Also in 1944 in Narrabri, New South Wales, a three-inch long feather from an Orpington hen was found inside an egg. On the 21st of August 1906, a Mr Gad of Burnside, South Australia, sat down to eat a boiled duck egg for breakfast. Inside, between the shell and the yolk, he found an entire olive. In 1922, another duck egg, this time at Burton-on-Trent in England, was being eaten by a singer named James Rodburn when he discovered a dark oval mass about an inch in length. It was found to be a kidney from a fully grown duck. Mrs King of Aberdare Junction, New South Wales, was cracking eggs into a bowl in August 1911, when she noticed something amiss. There seemed to be the body of a tiny baby snake in one of the eggs. The creature was four inches in length. It was sent to a museum for identification, but all who saw it said it was definitely a snake. At Ryde, New South Wales, in 1926, an old rusty sewing needle was discovered in an egg. A piece of metal was lengthways inside, embedded in the yolk. In 1928, a Londoner was lucky enough to crack open an egg and discovered a sixpence inside. The firm which supplied the eggs, when informed, said that a similar find had been made about 20 years earlier. Mrs Chapel, who operated a cafe in Auckland Street, Gladstone, in Queensland, was even luckier. In August 1944, she broke open an egg in front of two assistants while making breakfast and discovered a florin inside. When cleaned, the coin was bright and shiny. The egg had come from a farm in the Calliope district, and except for feeling somewhat large and heavy, had not looked different to any other egg. Taking advantage of this ability of birds to form an egg around random matter, Professor Nelson Waters, a poultry expert at Michigan State University, implanted a $5 bill inside a little white hen. He claimed the procedure did not hurt the bird and would have no effect on her laying eggs in future. The egg was used as first prize in an Easter egg hunt held at the university in April 1950. While many people found large eggs weighing three or four ounces and were claiming they must be a record size, far larger eggs have been laid. In August 1934 at Goodwood, Adelaide, an Australorp pullet laid an egg weighing eight ounces, which proved to be an example of an egg within an egg. In 2010, an egg weighing five and three quarter ounces laid in England was being claimed as a record, but the largest verified hen's egg appeared from an indubitably strained chicken at Vineland, New Jersey, on the 25th of February 1956. A white leghorn laid a double yoker with a double shell, which weighed an amazing 16 ounces. One of the strangest discoveries inside a hen's egg was claimed in 1904. In the Fairhill district of Philadelphia, at 2921 North 3rd Street, the Herring family were having their breakfast when Anne, one of the daughters of the family, remarked that the inside of her eggshell had a picture on it. She had just scooped out her soft-boiled egg, so there was no way anyone could have painted the scene. It appeared as though a photograph had somehow been imprinted through the shell. It was noted that photographers at the time did use egg white in their processing, but other than this coincidence, how the image could have been created was a mystery. It showed two buildings that looked like stores or factories. One building had a sign on top with a few letters visible. Between the buildings was a wagon with horse hitched and some figures of people standing around. It was said the hues and shadows were clear, but the perspective was warped, however. Another phenomenal egg was reported from Plovdiv, Bulgaria, in September 1935. A hen's egg was found allegedly with the figure of Jesus on one side and the Virgin Mary on the other, which could be seen when the shell was held up to a light. Several locals testified to this and were concerned it was an omen of impending disaster. A large hen's egg from the Orange District of New South Wales in 1922 was discovered with a slightly flattened side on which could be distinguished, with some effort, twelve Roman numerals, arranged as if on a watch face. No explanation for how this occurred was ventured, 
and apparently it did not cause anyone who saw it to fear any approaching catastrophe. Oddly, it was reported in October 1950 that in Bathurst, New South Wales, a Rhode Island red had laid flattened eggs with malformations on one side that looked like a clock face on two occasions a few weeks apart. Ovomancy, or oomancy, is the occult practice of divination using eggs. It was particularly popular in ancient Greece and Rome to forecast the future. It is said that the Empress Livia, wife of Augustus, was eager to know the sex of her unborn baby and was advised to incubate an egg between her breasts. When the chick hatched, it was a baby rooster, foretelling a boy was coming. What would the mystics have made of those extraordinary eggs from the dark corners of history?